Good morning. It's a pleasure to be here at the 36th annual Epstein, Becker & Green Workforce Management Briefing. It's just a wonderful opportunity for in-house attorneys, for senior HR executives and professionals to hear from experts in our field. I'm going to provide the rare opportunity for everybody in this room to be a member of the National Labor Relations Board. We're joined by two senior experts from the United States Chamber of Commerce. I'm going to talk a bit about what's going on at the EEOC. Where we started in 1981 to today, it's truly night and day. There are more speakers at today's events than attendees at our first session. The job of being a member of the National Labor Relations Board is not being a Republican or being a Democrat. The job involves acting as a neutral. We have colleagues and in-house counsel and HR executives participating in our panels and sharing their insights from a very practical point of view. We change the legal landscape through our sophisticated analyses. We have six simultaneous workshops as we speak uh, going on addressing cutting edge issues. I think we're seeing transition away from the repeal and replace exercise that's been dragging on. In terms of the Department of Labor, I'm not going to say they're just going to roll over and do everything we want, but I think they're going to listen and they're going to recognize that these are questions that need to be resolved. We also take time to let attendees know what we see coming, that we help them get ahead of the curve. The job I currently have is going to involve an enormous amount of activity between now and the stroke of midnight at the end of the day on December 16th. We're in an extraordinary time here. The content is timely. The wave of paid family leave laws, how states and local jurisdictions are dealing with gender identity. It's just a, a tremendous opportunity, and we've seen that in the, in, the, in the attendance as it continues to increase every year. Optimism doesn't mean everything's going to be fine. Optimism means really understanding the lay of the land, really understanding the reality on the ground, and then based on that, how can you move forward in whatever way you see as that positive way forward? That's been a real highlight for me, is partnering with clients and provide the best possible practical advice to those who join us. 